Good morning to all the people of the world. This is your boy Jehoshaphat. I just had my thoughts. My thoughts for today. I, I really I did all of this yesterday. I stayed up. I did my little research. It took me forever. And when I tried to upload something, went wrong. something went wrong. I, I have no idea. But I'm I'm trying to get this information up, and it's like I'm being denied. But that's all right. Things in this life they happen for a reason. Now I did this research yesterday, and I just want you to listen to. A lot of things that we're going to talk about that we're going to cover with this little bit of time that I have. So I'm not going to try to explain a lot of stuff. I just want you to listen and come up to your own observation on what you think on what I'm saying. Foreigners have more advantages of U.S. capital compared to their African-American counterparts. Federal and state tax incentives for businesses, investments available to foreign regis, reg, regulations provide foreign businesses developed by by giving them who invest five hundred thousand to a hundred thousand in U.S. U.S. marketplace. They also get help from their homeland banks to open up businesses. So. That's how they that's how they come up. You know what I'm saying? Just by them coming up over here, they they're giving me all of these regulated funds that black folks, we don't get these funds. You know what I'm saying? We locked out of that box of investments for those resources and, and them funds. Five hundred thousand dollars, what could you do with that? A hundred thousand dollars, how could you help your family? And what kind of business would you start? So I hear a lot of black folk always saying, How are they able to come up so quickly and so fast? If they come up over here and they don't have nothing, I tell you right now, I tell you right now, they getting help. You just can't, you know what I'm saying? And it's a lot and it's a lot, but you, you must understand that they get government funded to open up these businesses or they get home help from their homeland to get that money to open up businesses here in America. It's just not. Oh, they saved their money for 10 years. Now they got a business or they've been saving and they grinding and they got 20 people living with them. Nah, it's not even that. You know what I'm saying? They getting help. Most of these government funds are denied to African-Americans. Media promotes misconceptions about high rate of violent crimes. So. That's towards us. They always got bad stuff to say. They always got negative stuff stuff to say. They always trying to cast us as the most evilest, violent people here in America. So that lets me know that they have their own agenda. And why are they doing this to us to get everybody else to feel a certain way or have biased opinions about us before they even know us on an individual basis? As a person, let alone an ethnic group. Okay, where I left off at media. Statistics are just numbers without considering the cause of what's happening to our people. Struct structural oppression, lack of resources. The majority, the majority of, of our people don't have the same opportunities to establish prosperity as white people. Our communities have little to none opportunities to grow due to the lack of funds and resources. 390,233 violent acts of crime was committed in 2004. We as black people was only, we only did 37% of that overall number. So out of 390,233 I don't know how to do the math on that, but you know what I'm saying? I know one of y'all do. I know some of y'all really do. So what is the percent of the actual crime if that's the overall number and the percent of our our actions is 30 37%. And I'm gonna tell you right now, the 37%, to me it that that number seems kind of faulty. It doesn't seem accurate. The media would, would make would like to make you believe we do half of the crimes here in America. That's a lie. 
we were and still are hardworking, God-fearing, fam family-loving people. Now, it's this. I did this research on this this little this little town called Baton Batonville in Kentucky. Now, in this town is eighty eight percent, eighty eight point eight percent white, and since um since it's the majority of this town is all white folks it's like any other place in the world you still got crime you still got drugs you still got prostitution you still got murder you still got robberies you have anything anything that you would have in any other community uh, white people killing other white people. You know what I'm saying? You got to imagine in this town, it's 88.8% white. So, due to lack of a lack of opportunity and resources, it's like any other town or any other city that black people live in. It's the perfect example. Like like this 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 city that I'm talking about. This would be the same example to Chirac, but instead of black folk, it's white folks. So you can just imagine anywhere in the world, if you have lack of resources and the people got to sit there and fight amongst themselves to try to have something, you're going to have that same problem. And it does not matter what color it is, what type of people it is. It, it don't matter. It's all on what type of resources do your community have? How are y'all able to build? 324,000 African-American brothers and sisters was killed within the last 35 years. So when I read statistic stats like this, it makes me have this thought. If we kill that many of ourselves, how many did how many of our people fall from the, the hands of other races that live in the United States? Now, a lot of research that I do, some of the questions, I will never be able to find these things. You know what I'm saying? It's just like I don't know why in this world that people know the truth and they don't want to tell you. They want to try to keep it like some type of secret jewel that they don't want to share with nobody in the world. And they and these cowardly people would take this information to their graves. I hope it do something very special for them. The only other race of people who kill each other at a high rate as our people is Native American people. So, OK, and I look at I looked at the percentage. It's a little bit more than them, but they Native American people and they live all around Native American people and they kill more of themselves than we do. So is it our our African nature to be this violent? Because look at the Native Americans. They are around themselves and they kill themselves more than we do. So is it natural for us to be this way? If that is the case, all I can say is. Brothers and sisters, protect yourself, protect your family. But how long have y'all been hearing me say that? White people are killed less than black people by the police. These are the numbers. 1.3 1 per million black people, 2.9 per each million. The police have killed over 1,134 young brothers around the United States of America this year. Young brothers are killed five times higher than their than white men of the same age. So young brothers out there, you know what I'm saying? Young brothers, watch yourself with these police. Don't be giving these police no opportunities. Please do what they say. You know what I'm saying? Follow all their regulations and all their rules to a T because you know, you already know the game. You should know by now exactly how they is and what's to get down on them. And your life is more more important than sitting there talking some smack to some people that I told you already, young black man. They they, they won't hesitate to shoot you or do anything. Like, do it. I'm, I did my research. I'm not playing no games. You know what I'm saying? Protect yourself. You know what I'm saying? Use your mind when you have your encounterments with these police officers. This right here is not a game. Your life is more important. In 2015... The FBI crime stats, young brothers are nine times more likely than any other American to be killed by the police. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Nine times more than any other American person. Watch yourself. Protect yourself. Use your brain before you're going to use your brawn against these police. Please comply to what they saying to you because you already know. You know what I'm saying? You should already know the game by now. 
one in every 65 deaths of young black brothers is killed by the police in America. 71 71% of police who 